For the third week in a row, another Chinese open source model just dropped. GLM 4.5 is a hybrid model, trained on 22 trillion tokens, with 7 trillion of them being code. It surpasses frontier models in agentic capabilities and also has a built-in ability to create presentation slides. It takes the throne from recently dropped open source models like Quen3 and Kimi K2, surpassing them and other models like Gemini and Claude on the overall performance benchmark. We're gonna break the model down and put it to the test to see if it lives up to the benchmarks. Recently, ChatGPT dropped a feature called Study Mode, which acts like a teacher and doesn't just hand you the answer like the normal ChatGPT would. It wasn't that impressive because the capabilities of ChatGPT remain the same, and it just looks like a system prompt that you could have prompted with yourself. GLM 4.5 is a 355 billion parameter mixture of experts model with 32 billion active parameters, and the second model, GLM 4.5 Air, has 106 billion parameters with 12 billion being active. It uses sigmoid gates for its router. This allows for a soft, weighted selection of experts, giving the model more flexibility in its routing decisions. Second, it uses loss-free balance routing. This forces the router to distribute tasks across all experts to prevent collapse, but does so without adding an auxiliary loss term to the main objective, making the training process more efficient. In the self-attention component, the model uses grouped query attention with partial rope for more efficient memory usage and better positional understanding. It also utilizes 96 attention heads, nearly 2.5 times the typical amount. While this doesn't improve training speed, it consistently enhances performance on reasoning benchmarks. The model's training is a multi-stage process. First, it's pre-trained on 22 trillion tokens, 15 trillion general, and 7 trillion for code and reasoning. After that, it's fine-tuned on smaller, domain-specific instruction datasets to enhance its performance. For the final reinforcement learning stage, they built and open-sourced a custom infrastructure called SLIME to handle the massive scale and efficiency required for agentic training. The model's post-training starts with supervised fine-tuning on curated data to establish a baseline. This is followed by a specialized reinforcement learning phase to cultivate expert models for specific domains like STEM and software engineering. The final step is expert distillation, which consolidates the skills from these experts back into the main GLM 4.5 model, creating a single unified agent. Now, to put it to the test, I asked it to create a 2D snake game. It took a little time to think, and then started to generate it. In the meantime, I also asked Claude to do the same, and both results were decent. A playable 2D game. Then, I asked both the chat models to make an edit and add different metrics to the game. Though Claude did it without any problem, GLM crashed, and the game was unplayable. Then I put it to the final test and asked it to make a gamified to-do list, and it passed the test without much trouble. I then sent an editing prompt, asking it to add a reset button, and this time it edited it without any trouble. 